Today, I want to share another exciting collaboratory award given to a project about ecological forecasting. If we go to Red Hat Collaboratory News and check out this link here. The Red Hat Collaboratory Research Incubation Awards and the project is Prototyping a Distributed Asynchronous Workflow for Iterative Near-Term Ecological Forecasting. So to explain what that means, it's prototyping an accessible community infrastructure, open source, to generate ecological forecasts at scale, focusing on the development of a cloud-native workflow that can handle asynchronous, event-driven, distributed approach to execution. So how are we going to do that? It's all open source technology. Let me show you. So earlier last year at Red Hat Consulting, we already created an event-driven portfolio event-driven automation portfolio architecture. Here it is right here. So this is all about receiving messages from a message queue. For example, Apache Kafka, that's an event coming in, and that event goes into a service that determines what to do with that event. It's a rule-driven architecture so that an event coming in has data. That data is put into some rules to determine if there's an action that we need to perform on it. Or it'll determine if we've already performed an action within a certain time period, like one day, and if it's necessary to repeat the action for that given event in the same day, for example. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you only want to run things once a day, and if it fails, you want to do something else, like create a ticket in a ticketing system to have something fixed or send an email. It's up to you. You can choose what the rules are and what are the actions, but you got to get the architecture right. And there's an open source architecture to all of this. So that's why we have put together the Red Hat Event Driven Architecture for Ecology Forecasting. So it's the same portfolio architecture here, how an event starts a journey and triggers a message and, and rules are applied, like I explained earlier. But we can put actual solutions to this. For example, We've talked a lot in previous videos about the Fireware Context Broker and IoT Agent, which are already set up to receive events from message queues like AMQ, uh, AMQP, the RabbitMQ protocol, or MQTT, which is a lighter weight protocol, or Kafka, and keep track of the state of that context in the Context Broker provided by Fireware. And then we can pass that along to Red Hat in Q streams and start a process of rule-based decision manager deployed on OpenShift, which will determine what action we should take. It's a rule-based system to determine actions. And then we can provide other microservices to call to Ansible Tower to invoke some ecological forecasting to happen, like a long running process that runs a forecast and determines based on inputs what ecological impact is projected in the future based on the information we have. All of this can be deployed on Red Hat OpenShift with powerful OpenShift operators. We can talk about the operators as well. 
Operators are so easy to install, and some of them include the Red Hat single sign-on operator so that you can have role-based access control to your applications, and an external secrets operator for managing your secrets securely in the cloud, and the Red Hat AMQ streams and AMQ broker to manage all the protocols for messaging that you'll need to work with these devices. And the business automation is the business automation operator is for adding rule based uh, management at runtime for your solutions, your business solutions. The Ansible Automation Platform Operator for running automation on working machines that can do a lot of computation. Argo CD to manage it all, and also the OpenShift Virtualization Operator to give you virtual machines to run your workloads for ecological forecasting. All of that is available and scalable on Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. So there's many links that describe event-driven automation here that I can put in the video description. But I hope this was helpful to see what this project is all about and what we'll be building out on an OpenShift cluster and how it can make an impact in the ecology of our planet through open source software and through enterprise grade open source software on Red Hat OpenShift by Red Hat. So stay tuned for a lot more about this project and thanks for watching.